it's my pleasure to be joined by Barbara Minces, who is the Associate Professor at the School of Pharmacy, at the Faculty of Medicine and Health of the Charles Perkins Centre of the University of Sydney. Is, is that right? Yes, that's correct. Hello. Uh, what was the what was the spark that sort of moved you from your first undergraduate studies into the sort of the health field? Really how I ended up getting into um, pharmaceutical issues to begin with was working with the people who had been exposed to diethylstilbestrol, which was used very commonly in pregnancy in many countries, including in the UK. And I became very involved in the DES, diethylstilbestrol or DES action group in Canada. And through that group, started collaborating with some of the organizations in Europe and particularly the Dutch DES Action Group. And it's really through that work that I then started working with Health Action International, which has much more of a focus on both access to essential medicines as well as pharmaceutical policy from a public interest perspective. I'm also very interested in what happens in the medical literature with safety studies. So with observational studies that are looking at infrequent or longer term harms of medicines, because I think that there's also a whole role with conflicts of interest in that area that makes it very difficult for doctors to know what to believe and who to believe. We did a study looking at uh, authors of secondary reports, so editorials, commentaries, letters to the editor, and what their position was on cardiovascular and psychiatric risks of varenicline, um, the smoking cessation drug, and then just looked at declared conflicts versus position and found a very strong relationship between conflicts of interest and um, minimization of the risks. (laughs) 